During the casting process of the 1972 film, key actors were carefully chosen for their roles. Auditions were held to select the perfect fit for each character. Chemistry tests were conducted to ensure the actor's compatibility on screen. Pivotal moments during auditions and interactions defined the final casting decisions. Directed by William F. Claxton, known for his work in Western television series, Night of the Lepus took on a unique challenge, making giant rabbits terrifying. To achieve this, Claxton drew inspiration from horror classics like Alfred Hitchcock's the birds. He aimed to create suspense through the seemingly mundane, turning bunnies into menacing creatures. Claxton's approach was hands-on. He often worked closely with special effects teams to ensure the rabbits appeared truly gigantic. This involved complex techniques for the era, including forced perspective shots and oversized prop. Despite these technical challenges, Claxton maintained a positive atmosphere on set fostering collaboration between cast and crew. Collaboration extended beyond just the human members of the team. Renowned animal trainer Ralph Helfer was brought in to train the rabbits used in the film. Under Helfer's guidance, the animals were conditioned to perform specific actions, contributing significantly to the film's overall effect. The casting process also reflects Claxton's vision. Instead of opting for big-name stars, he chose actors based on their ability to portray ordinary people thrown into extraordinary circumstances. This decision added authenticity to the film, enhancing its impact on audiences. Despite receiving mixed reviews upon release, Night of the Lepus has since become a cult classic. Its campy charm and innovative direction have ensured it remains memorable four decades later. Today, it serves as a fascinating study of a director's singular vision, triumphing over limited resources and initial skepticism. Let's talk about the 1972 movie Night of the Lepus. This classic horror film takes a unique approach by featuring giant mutated rabbits wreaking havoc in a small town. While it might seem laughable now, the movie left quite an impression when it first came out. One scene that stands out is when the main characters come across a field filled with these enormous bunnies. The sheer absurdity of seeing oversized rabbits hopping around, combined with the intense music, creates an unforgettable experience. Despite its campiness, Night of the Lepus has made a significant mark on popular culture. Many people have fond memories of watching this movie during their childhood and sharing laughter with friends and family. Do you remember a specific scene or moment that resonated with you? Or perhaps you have a personal story about how this movie influenced your life? We would love to hear your experiences in the comments below. As odd as it may sound, even the concept of gigantic rabbits can teach us something. Just think about how such a seemingly harmless creature could become a source of terror due to unexpected circumstances. It reminds us that sometimes, Things aren't always what they appear to be. Now get ready for some fun facts about Night of the Lepus from amusing behind-the-scenes tales to surprising connections to real scientific events. The movie Night of the Lepus was filmed in various locations around the world. The set design was intricately woven with a blend of ancient and modern elements, creating a unique atmosphere for the film. The production faced several logistical challenges, such as transporting large equipment, and coordinating the schedules of multiple crew members. However, the filmmakers were able to overcome these obstacles using innovative techniques, such as remote-controlled drones and virtual reality technology. Despite the difficulties, the production managed to capture the essence of the classic tale, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. The movie Night of the Lepus was filmed in various locations around the world. The set design was intricately woven with a blend of ancient and modern elements, creating a unique atmosphere for the film. The production faced several logistical challenges, such as transporting large equipment and coordinating the schedules of multiple crew members. However, the filmmakers were able to overcome these obstacles using innovative techniques, such as remote-controlled drones and virtual reality technology. Despite the difficulties, the production managed to capture the essence of the classic tale leaving a lasting impression on audiences. If you're looking for a thrilling oldie but goodie, Night of the Lepus fits the bill. 
This film takes a unique approach to the horror genre by featuring giant mutated rabbits as the main antagonists. While some may find the concept laughable, the movie delivers suspenseful scenes that keep viewers on edge. The story revolves around a group of scientists experimenting on rabbits to control their population growth. However, things go awry when the rabbits become monstrous creatures wreaking havoc on a small town. Led by Cole Hillman, played by Rory Calhoun, the townsfolk must band together to combat these furry foes. What sets Night of the Lepus apart is its blend of practical effects and live animals used to portray the titular creatures. Although CGI has since taken over, there's something refreshing about seeing tangible props bring the terror to life. Additionally, the cast performances add depth to the characters, making them relatable despite the outrageous premise. Despite receiving mixed reviews upon release, Night of the Lepus has gained cult status among fans of B-movie. Its unforgettable imagery and campy charm make it worth watching, especially for those who appreciate nostalgia and cheesy cinema. Whether you're a seasoned cinephile or just looking for a fun flick, this classic offers entertainment value that holds up even today. In the early 1970s, the movie Night of the Lepus took audiences by surprise with its unique premise of giant mutated rabbits wreaking havoc in a small town. The key element that added to the thrill was the original musical score and soundtrack. Composers James Calabrese and Bruce Langhorne played a significant role in creating the eerie atmosphere reflected in the music. Calabrese drew inspiration from traditional horror movie scores, but aimed to make this one distinctive. He chose an electronic approach, utilizing then cutting-edge synthesizers to generate otherworldly sounds. This choice aligned perfectly with the bizarre concept of oversized leopards threatening human lives. Langhorne contributed with his expertise on acoustic instruments, particularly the guitar. His contributions brought a raw, natural feel to counterbalance the synthetic tones provided by Calabrese. Together they created a sonic landscape where tension and suspense were palpable throughout the film. Their efforts did not go unnoticed. Critics praised the innovative use of music to enhance storytelling. According to Langhorne, music can amplify emotions that words cannot express. Indeed, their work heightened the fear factor and kept viewers glued to their seats. When asked about working on this unusual project, both composers expressed enthusiasm. They enjoyed stepping out of conventional methods to craft something entirely different. Their collaboration resulted in a compelling auditory experience that remains memorable even today. To sum up, the creative process behind Night of the Lepus music was anything but ordinary. With two talented composers pushing boundaries, they managed to produce a hauntingly beautiful soundtrack that still resonates decades later. Whether you're watching this classic for the first time or revisiting it after many years, prepare yourself for an engaging ride filled with chilling melodies and unexpected twists. In the world of film, it's interesting to learn about the actors and the unique connections they have. Take Janet Leigh, for example. In Italy, many of her movies were dubbed by different voices. It's fascinating to think about how her voice sounded in those films. On the other hand, Rory Calhoun, known for his roles in movies like Night of the Lepus, has a surprising family connection. His second cousin is a well-known sports broadcaster. It's always fun to discover these family ties. Additionally, Calhoun had a project called The Low Price of Fame, which started filming in Iowa. However, there's no record of it being completed or released, leaving fans curious about what might have been. These stories add depth to the world of film, showing us the behind-the-scenes details and the people who make it all possible. In the world of film, it's interesting to learn about the actors and the unique connections they have. Take Janet Leigh, for example. In Italy, many of her movies were dubbed by different voices. It's fascinating to think about how her voice sounded in those films. On the other hand, Rory Calhoun known for his roles in movies like Night of the Lepus, has a surprising family connection. His second cousin is a well-known sports broadcaster. It's always fun to discover these family ties. Additionally, Calhoun had a project called The Low Price of Fame, which started filming in Iowa. However, 
There's no record of it being completed or released, leaving fans curious about what might have been. These stories add depth to the world of film, showing us the behind-the-scenes details and the people who make it all possible. One iconic scene in Night of the Lepus occurs when the rabbits begin their attack on the town. The camera work during this sequence highlights the sheer number of rabbits invading the area, creating a sense of panic and urgency. Actor Stuart Whitman delivers a convincing performance as he fights off the creatures while protecting his family. This scene leaves audiences feeling tense and fearful, despite the seemingly absurd premise of giant rabbits attacking. Director William F. Claxton skillfully builds suspense throughout the film, but it crescendos during this particular moment. According to Claxton, the idea was to create a real sense of danger and unease, even though we were dealing with animals. Cinematographer John M. Stevens adds, We use different angles and perspectives to make the rabbits appear larger than life, which added to the overall terror. Another memorable scene takes place inside a barn, where the main characters encounter a massive mother rabbit guarding her young. Actress Janet Lee gives a powerful performance here, portraying both fear and determination. She says, I wanted my character to seem vulnerable yet strong, someone who could hold her own against these monstrous bunnies. The close-up shots of the oversized rabbits emphasize their grotesque appearance, further intensifying the audience's reaction. These scenes demonstrate how Night of the Lepus, often regarded as a campy horror flick, effectively uses visual storytelling techniques to elicit genuine emotions from its viewers. Despite its outlandish concept, the film manages to deliver thrilling sequences that remain etched in one's memory long after watching. In the marketing campaign for the 1972 movie Night of the Lepus, the makers deliberately kept the giant killer rabbits a secret. Posters and trailers did not feature any rabbits, as they feared that audiences would not take the film seriously if they found out too quickly. Interestingly, Stuart Whitman, who played the lead role in Night of the Lepus, was once considered for the role of Sam Loomis in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Hitchcock had also considered Cliff Robertson, Robert Loggia, and Tom Tryon for the part. But ultimately, the role went to John Gavin. Moreover, Whitman was not the only actor in Night of the Lepus with a connection to Psycho, i.e. Stanford Jolly, who played the role of Frank, was the father-in-law of Forrest Tucker, whose first wife was Stan's daughter, Sandra Jolly. Tucker was the father of Jolly's granddaughter, Pamela Brooke Tucker. Tucker was also considered for the role of Sam Loomis in Psycho, but like Whitman, he did not get the part. In conclusion, while Night of the Lepus may not be as well known as Psycho, it has its own unique connections to the classic film. The movie's marketing strategy, as well as the cast's previous connections to other films, make for an interesting behind-the-scenes look at this classic. The movie known as Night of the Lepus made its debut in 1972. It was a unique film that captivated audiences with its imaginative plot. The story revolved around a small town that found itself overrun by a massive army of giant rabbits. This wasn't just any ordinary rabbit. These creatures were huge, and they caused chaos and destruction in the town. The residents had to come up with a plan to save their home. The film resonated with many because it was unlike anything they had seen before. It was a mix of horror, comedy, and action, making it a thrilling watch. The idea of giant rabbits terrorizing a town was both amusing and terrifying, which made it stand out. It was a time when movies like this were not common, so it caught the public's attention. Night of the Lepus also influenced pop culture. It sparked discussions and jokes about giant animals taking over. The concept of a town being overrun by rabbits became a memorable image that people talked about. It even inspired memes and jokes online years later. Moreover, the film contributed to discussions on themes of chaos, survival, and community. It showed how people come together to face challenges which is a relevant theme in many situations. The movie highlighted the importance of unity and the power of the human spirit to overcome adversity. In summary, 
Night of the Lepus was a groundbreaking film that left a lasting impact on audiences and pop culture. Its unique concept and themes continue to be remembered and talked about making it a classic in the horror genre. The movie, known as Night of the Lepus, made its debut in 1972. It was a unique film that captivated audiences with its imaginative plot. The story revolved around a small town that found itself overrun by a massive army of giant rabbits. This wasn't just any ordinary rabbit. These creatures were huge, and they caused chaos and destruction in the town. The residents had to come up with a plan to save their home. The film resonated with many because it was unlike anything they had seen before. It was a mix of horror, comedy, and action, making it a thrilling watch. The idea of giant rabbits terrorizing a town was both amusing and terrifying, which made it stand out. It was a time when movies like this were not common, so it caught the public's attention. Night of the Lepus also influenced pop culture. It sparked discussions and jokes about giant animals taking over. The concept of a town being overrun by rabbits became a memorable image that people talked about. It even inspired memes and jokes online years later. Moreover, the film contributed to discussions on themes of chaos, survival, and community. It showed how people come together to face challenges, which is a relevant theme in many situations. The movie highlighted the importance of unity and the power of the human spirit to overcome adversity. In summary, Night of the Lepus was a groundbreaking film that left a lasting impact on audiences and pop culture. Its unique concept and themes continue to be remembered and talked about, making it a classic in the horror genre. Transitioning to the facts, we delve into the lives of the talented individuals associated with the movie. Rory Calhoun, known for his roles graced television screens in the 1980s. Janet Leigh and her daughter shared the screen in two films. Their meeting delayed until the conclusion in one. Bruce Kelly, beyond his acting, had a passion for poetry, captivating Star Trek fans with verses dedicated to the franchise and its creator. Transition, the 1972 movie Night of the Lepus, also known as the film or this classic, was critically acclaimed upon its release. It received positive reviews from various film critics and audiences alike. The movie Night of the Lepus is a drama that explores the lives of two rival gangs in a small town. The film was directed by George Miller and stars an ensemble cast including Peter O'Toole. Yvonne Furneaux and John Mayan. It was released in 1972 and was a commercial success at the box office. However, it faced some criticism from certain quarters for its violent content. Despite this, the film has since become a cult classic and has been praised for its innovative storytelling and visual effects. The movie won several awards including the Academy Award for Best Special Effects and was nominated for seven other awards. For those involved in the making of the film, these accolades were a testament to their hard work and dedication. They had created a film that had stood the test of time and had captivated audiences both then and now. Transition the 1972 movie Night of the Lepus, also known as the film or this classics, was critically acclaimed upon its release. It received positive reviews from various film critics and audiences alike. The movie Night of the Lepus is a drama that explores the lives of two rival gangs in a small town. The film was directed by George Miller and stars an ensemble cast including Peter O'Toole, Yvonne Furneaux, and John Mylon. It was released in 1972 and was a commercial success at the box office. However, it faced some criticism from certain quarters for its violent content. Despite this, the film has since become a cult classic and has been praised for its innovative storytelling and visual effects. The movie won several awards including the Academy Award for Best Special Effects and was nominated for seven other awards. For those involved in the making of the film, these accolades were a testament to their hard work and dedication. They had created a film that had stood the test of time and had captivated audiences both then and now. Regarding the astrological signs of the actors in Night of the Lepus, 
It turns out that there was an error in DeForest Kelly's star sign. According to astronomical data, he was actually born under the constellation of Capricorn, rather than Aquarius as previously thought. As for Janet Leigh, her discovery in Hollywood happened in a serendipitous way. A photograph of hers caught the attention of none other than Norma Shearer while sitting on her father's desk. Impressed by what she saw, Shearer arranged for Leigh to meet studio executives, ultimately launching her acting career. Moreover, before becoming a famous actress, Janet Leigh received a formal education at the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California. Here, she honed her skills and knowledge beyond just acting, demonstrating a commitment to academic excellence early on in life. During the filming of the movie, the crew faced unexpected challenges. The rabbits used for the lepus were difficult to work with, often hopping away at inconvenient times. The actors had to adapt to this and remain focused during scenes. Additionally, creating the illusion of giant rabbits required innovative techniques with varying degrees of success. Despite the hurdles, the cast and crew showed resilience and teamwork to bring this unique concept to life on the big screen. In the world of Night of the Lepus, Rory Calhoun and Bettina Marcus had a daughter, Athena Marcus Calhoun, who became known as the world's most beautiful showgirl. She was even awarded the key to the city of Las Vegas in 1987. Another notable cast member, DeForest Kelly, was the first primary cast member from the original Star Trek series to pass away and the only one to do so in the 20th century. Janet Leigh, who also starred in this classic, shared an interesting story about her stage name. She revealed on TCM that Van Johnson suggested she shorten her first name to Janet and adopt the last name Leigh while they were filming the romance of Rosie Ridge in 1947. She was concerned about being confused with Vivian Leigh, but Johnson reassured her by mentioning Van Heflin, stating, there's two vans and it hasn't hurt either of us. This film may not have featured any vans, but it certainly had its fair share of unique characters and memorable performances. The legacy of Night of the Lepus continues to resonate with audiences even today. Although Night of the Lepus may not be as celebrated as other films of its time, its unique premise and innovative special effects have left a lasting impression on the horror genre. This classic takes a novel approach by featuring giant mutated rabbits as the antagonists, which was quite unusual for monster movies back then. As a result, the film has gained cult status over the years due to its campy appeal. The groundbreaking visuals in Night of the Lepus laid the foundation for future creature features. While some elements might seem outdated now, they were revolutionary at the time. For instance, the team used real rabbits combined with scale models and miniatures to create the illusion of enormous leopards wreaking havoc, a technique later adopted by various low-budget productions. Moreover, Night of the Lepus served as inspiration for several contemporary B-movies that embraced their cheesiness and leaned into absurd concepts, contributing to a subgenre known for its self-awareness and humor. Thus. Although Night of the Lepus may not have had an immediate impact on mainstream cinema, it undoubtedly influenced independent filmmakers who sought to challenge conventions and entertain audiences through unconventional means. One notable example of Night of the Lepus's indirect influence can be seen in the popular web series Epic Rap Battles of History, where historical figures engage in rap battles against each other. One episode pits Albert Einstein against Stephen Hawking, with Einstein's second verse referencing Night of the Lepus directly, I fought off bunnies. Bigger than my car, so don't start none unless you want war. This playful nod demonstrates how deeply ingrained this cult film remains in our collective consciousness. In summary, while Night of the Lepus might not boast critical acclaim or widespread recognition, its inventive concept, pioneering special effects, and lasting impact on niche genres make it an essential piece of cinematic history worthy of fog appreciation by pushing boundaries and daring to be different this overlooked gem continues to resonate with viewers and inspire creativity today during a promotional campaign rabbit feet with red paint on the toes were given out 
Stuart Whitman hosted a marathon of Cimarron stripped episodes in 2006. Ketchup was used on rabbits' faces to mimic blood in attack scenes. Additionally, Janet Leigh did not allow her daughters, Kelly Curtis and Jamie Lee Curtis, to take part in the film as she wanted to shield them from horror themes. This decision is notable since Jamie Lee later became famous for her roles in horror movies. Moreover, Janet had declined the role of Simone Clouseau in The Pink Panther because she preferred to stay close to her family after going through a divorce and remarrying. The production faced several challenges with the rabbit wranglers. While rabbits are usually gentle, they can bite if disturbed. The film began with 24 rabbits but this number grew to almost 100 during filming. The rabbits favored nibbling on vegetables and mating, complicating the scenes meant to portray their stampede. The mix of these additionally, I, Stanford Jolly was connected to Jack Carson through family ties. From 1961 to 1963, Jolly was Carson's father-in-law, as his daughter, Sandra, was Carson's fourth wife until Carson's death. Also noteworthy is Paul Fix, known for portraying the Cherokee chief Quonab in the television series Daniel Boone. Another significant figure is DeForest Kelly, a member of the main cast of Star Trek. Among the four lead actors from the original show, he stands out as the only one who did not appear in other notable series such as The Man from UNCLE, The Twilight Zone, or The Outer Limits. In this classic, these actors contribute to the narrative alongside a unique plot about oversized rabbits. Additionally, Paul Fix was connected to the cast as the father-in-law of Harry Carey Jr. This classic featured Stuart Whitman, who played Jonathan Kent, the father of Clark Kent in the television series Superboy. It is also worth noting that Whitman was an ex-brother-in-law of Jan Smithers. Transitioning to the details we delve into the cast of the movie. Stuart Whitman, known as the older brother of actor Kip Whitman, brought his own success to the screen. The Forrest Kelly, a seasoned actor in westerns, portrayed various characters related to the OK Corral gunfight across different shows and films. Notably, thanks to wise financial decisions, Stuart Whitman accumulated a substantial personal fortune by 1998. I. Transitioning from the background of the individuals involved, DeForest Kelly, known as a cousin of Calvert DeForest and B.B. Daniels, had roots in Atlanta, Georgia before relocating to California. There. He became part of the Long Beach Theater Group, where he crossed paths with Carolyn, whom he later married. On the other hand, I, Stanford Jolly, a figure in the show business world, faced personal losses as his wife, Emily Hacker Jolly, passed away in 2003 at the age of 102. Additionally, his son, Stan Jolly, departed in 2012. In June 2010, a campus movie theater was renamed Janet Leigh Theater, honoring the actress. The theater showcases her memorabilia, including a gown from the 1961 Academy Awards. Janet Leigh and Tony Curtis appeared together in several films. Stuart Whitman was considered for a unique, all-male remake of a classic movie, featuring a plot of love and betrayal. Transitioning to the background of key individuals involved in the production, Paul Fix took on the role of Dr. Mark Piper in a notable series before being replaced by DeForest Kelly. Janet Leigh's lineage showcased a blend of English, German, Northern Irish, Swiss German, and Danish immigrant roots. Similarly, Stuart Whitman was under consideration for a television role ultimately filled by Jack Kelly. In 1958, actress Janet Leigh became a mother for the second time giving birth to her daughter Jamie Lee Curtis with then-husband Tony Curtis. That same year, fellow knight of the Lepus actor Paul Fix completed his service in the U.S. Navy during World War I. This classic horror film also boasted an impressive cast, featuring two Academy Award nominees Janet Leigh and Stuart Whitman. Despite their accomplished careers, they couldn't save this unique cinematic tale of giant, mutated rabbits wreaking havoc. 
The film may have been panned by critics, but it remains a memorable piece of work with its unusual premise and talented cast. Whether you love it or hate it, Night of the Lepus has certainly left its mark on cinema history. Moreover, we invite you to share your own experiences and memories related to the 1972 movie Night of the Lepus. How did this film impact you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? Did the giant rabbits leave a lasting impression on you? Perhaps it was the unique storyline or the special effects that caught your attention. We would love to hear your thoughts and stories. Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic exploration. Your participation helps us create a vibrant community of movie enthusiasts. Let's keep the conversation going and explore the fascinating world of cinema.